NHS Gateshead approached Bridgehead because of the need to exit from the, um, the National Programme for IT LSP contract with Accenture around the provision of their radiology PAX application. They had decided to exit that programme by the 30th of June 2014 and were in need of um, finding a vendor that could help them localise that data effectively without causing too much impact on their existing PAX application. They chose the Bridgehead VNA as the underlying repository to take control of their PAX images that have been archived previously and to use that as the central repository going forward. We took a, an innovative approach to that localization and that enabled us to cut the time to bring that data under control from an estimated 10 months to something a little over 12 weeks. They knew of Bridgehead's VNA capability. Um, they knew that we were a UK company, 100% focused on healthcare, and they understood that we brought true meaning to the uh, to the term vendor neutrality, both in terms of being able to work with multiple PAX applications because they were looking at refreshing their PAX and replacing their existing AGFA PAX application, but also because of our ability to work with any storage vendor and any type of storage media that was required. Um, also, Gateshead were embarking on a, a strategic program to deliver a, an EPR solution that really did deliver on the promise of a single patient record, and they saw Bridgehead's VNA capability as a means of providing that um, single uh, data, re data repository for the enterprise that could feed that EPR solution. Gateshead made a strategic decision to implement the vendor neutral archive ahead of the patch replacement program. This gave them full control of their data and most importantly independence from the application and the hardware vendors going forward. One of the key benefits of Bridgehead's solution is to remove the PAX to PAX migration from the critical path of the RISC PAX replacement program. By moving data well ahead of the PAX implementation into the VNA, those prior studies are available to the new PACs and immediately it comes online. This approach removes the need to move studies across N3 from the CDS by utilising the local copies held on tape. We were able to quickly and effortlessly stream the data from the tape straight into the VNA. This then provides the foundation for a fast and efficient migration of DICOM data and is independent of the CDS. We produce lists of the tape contents to drive the process of localization. Um, and then we, after the localization had finished, we use the same list to check that the files have been successfully processed. For the protection of the data, um, we archive the copy of every um, localized file into the Bridgehead VNA. There is approximately 15 terabytes of data on the 72 tapes. This only took 12 weeks to move into the VNA and did not involve the live PAC system. The localization project was roughly a 12 week project. Um, I'm extremely pleased with the way it went. Um, it was completed on schedule and um, we had a lot of cooperation from the trust, and a great team to work with and um, we had a number of people involved on our side. The team pulled together well and the work was, as I say, completed on time. The um, results were also most satisfying because um, we, our checks at the end of the process confirmed that all the files we expected to be migrated had successfully been migrated into the, the VNA. The benefits to Gateshead in deploying the, uh, the Bridgehead VNA are, are manyfold. Um, initially, they will be able to store and retrieve all of their existing and historic AGFA PAX uh, radiology data uh, from within the VNA. Um, as they now move to implement their new CareStream PAX application, all new uh, images from the CareStream PAX will be pointed to the Bridgehead VNA and stored and protected in that environment. Um, in fact, we've just extended the capacity of the VNA by doubling the number of uh, individual studies that could be stored in the VNA um, with a recent order that we've had from the Trust. 
In the near future, Gates said planned to extend the use of the VNA to incorporate a lot more data, whether that be additional clinical data or administrative data. Uh, they plan to use um, to, to start to use the VNA to store um, endoscopy, oncology, uh, scanned uh, medical images, uh, medical photography JPEGs, as well as corporate file data in the VNA. Gates said also see the deployment of the VNA as a key contributor to their overall data management policy moving forward. Um, they see a, a real opportunity to have a better utilisation of their storage assets, uh, ensuring that they uh, store data uh, on the right tier of storage and improve the TCO of their storage, uh, storage estate. They also see the benefits in uh, creating a single uh, enterprise archive for all of their data in terms of delivering um, a, a source of data for their BPR solution. And they also see the use of the VNA in terms of better protecting their data, making sure that it is always available for the clinicians when they want that information. Gateshead are taking a strategic long-term view of their data. They understand the importance of getting the fundamentals right and just how vital the data is to the running of a hospital. So it must be properly stored and protected. By implementing the Bridgehead VNA, Gateshead are laying the foundation for their long-term strategic plans. By keeping both administrative and clinical data in a single repository, enabling that to be served back to the applications which run the hospital. In adopting this approach, Gateshead are moving ever closer to their vision of a holistic electronic patient record. Bridgehead. Store. Protect. Share.